Hi, I'm Dorothy White and this is uh, Channel 6. I'm here today with uh, Barbara Roberts and she is uh, one of our specialties that she knows everything to do for your derby hat. Uh, this is one that I brought from home, but she's going to show me how to kind of jazz it up and, and make it look like new. I've worn it several times. I always get a lot of comments on it. Uh, I really like the blue color. I like the way it kind of, you know, has the two layers. Mm, soft. Uh, adds a little, you know, jazz, jazz it up to you. But why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself and how you got into this business? Oh, okay. Well, my daughter and I were in a tea room and we were talking about how much we loved the tea room. Okay. And we thought we'd like to open one and then we remembered a time when I had a restaurant <laughs> and it is all consuming so we yes. thought oh we'll just sell the pretty things that are in tea shops. I love that uh, idea. Yes. Oh, oh. It was not any easier than a restaurant. No. <laughs> but it's been 15 years. And, oh my goodness. You know, so um, the last six years I've been making or maybe seven years I've been making hats but only just the last three years have we switched to well, we still make tea party hats, but we also make derby hats. Okay. Well, if, if I was going to do a tea party hat versus a derby hat, what would be the biggest difference? With tea party hats, they're more floral. I tend to make them more feminine. And, okay. But that's not necessarily what we sell these days since I started doing derby hats and they're sort of over the top. You and really if I want to find goes. if I want to find one of your beautiful hats, where would I go? I know they have them at Artist Barrel downtown. Yes, it's uh, two eight North, two o eight North Third uh, Street. Yes, which is the main street of town, and then also at Nancy's place in Springfield, Kentucky. Oh yes, on yes. Main Street, it's a beautiful shop. It is, and so she has my fascinators there. Okay, and if you buy a fascinator. Mm -hmm. And it'll have my label on it like this, and that means it's a one of a kind. There are no oh two alike. Okay. So you want to get back to your hat. Okay. This. So I'm going to wear this, uh, say, to the to an event, uh, perhaps not the derby, but maybe a party, or maybe um, I know a lot of time the girls will go down. There are some beautiful restaurants down in Churchill Downs that uh, you know are open during the week of the derby, and so if you don't have tickets to the derby, don't despair. There's lots of other things going on. And so I'm going to reason to wear a hat. Always a reason to wear a hat. So why don't you show me how it would look the best. Okay, well now this hat is made of cinnamon and if you have, if you have a hat like this one that she's okay. worn several times and mm -hmm. it's been stored. It has. Like right here we have a little, now this may have been in it when you bought it, but it's a little bit of a wrinkle here mm -hmm. and maybe maybe the um, the bow has gotten squashed. It has. This fabric is cinnamon. It's a, like a linen fiber and it's made in the Philippines. Mm. You spritz, just spritz some water on it. Get it a little damp. Just plain water. And then, and then just work with it till it's smoothed out. It dries oh. quickly and uh, you know if you wanted to put this over a, a pot or something that would stretch this or out. Or one of your heads. Yes, like that. a mannequin head. A mannequin Now, head. that okay. particular hat, I think it's probably a double layer of cinnamon, and the stiffening that's on it makes it, they're able to shape them and, and make them make them stiff, whereas this is a soft one, and we have numerous ones of these okay. at the artist barrel. I just thought it was a little more comfortable. It is, it's, and they're so pretty and so feminine. You want to wear it? Sure, <laughs> sure, sure. Normally, when you're... Um, when you're buying a derby hat, you're going to wear the um, accessories, the accent that's on the hat okay. is going to be on the right side, very close to the front. Okay. I tell people with my hats, don't pay attention to where the label is. If it, if it oh, feels okay. good on you to turn it around, it's your hat and you have to feel good about it. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Then let's... Uh, Start with your fascinators. I know you've got many out here, a lot of different samples. Mm -hmm. Can you kind of just walk me through what it took to create something like this? Okay. Well, actually, we have you. You need to start with a base. Okay. I mean, with a with a uh, headband. Okay. And you can use one that's I think like I'm the just color. Just going to take this off okay. right now. You can use uh, uh, Colored headbands. Next year, I'm pretty sure I will have metal ones that oh. are covered with ribbon. But this year, I just have these metal ones. Okay. And um, but they do come in colors as well. Yeah, they they come in colors. Okay. But this is very 
sturdy and it's very comfortable and it slides right into your hair so it's minimum visibility. Okay. Um, and that's how you can see women wearing these huge ones. Yes. And it doesn't really, it looks like it's just balanced on their <laughs> head. There's really a system. But pieces of felt, uh, these, these old things, if you buy a, um, a base kit, that we have, which we have for sale at the Artist Barrel, okay. you get two of these. Mm -hmm. You would put those underneath the headband like this mm -hmm. and glue it down. And then that will give you a base to work on. Now that's what you use the hot glue gun for? Yes. But now on this one, I just <coughs> put everything that is on here mm -hmm. is just glued to a base that's like this. Oh my. Can I try that one on? That sure. Looks like fun. This one's this okay, now, you, you this is for the um let's see. I I'm not <laughs> I think this could be a tea. It could be a tea, or it could be a this derby is for party. The lady who wants to stand out in the crowd. Does this go with my outfit, though? Yes, See, it does. That's it's why I wore this. Perfect. That's why I wore this because I thought this goes with everything. It's got every single color under the sun in it, and uh, of course, I got it at one of our little shops downtown. Uh, try to shop locally whenever mm -hmm. we can. And all these products are available there. And Miss Barbara is busy, busy, busy this time of year. <laughs> yes, I know. very busy. Okay. Now you you can, as I did with this one. Okay. You can make your fascinator right on here. Okay. If you want a base on your fascinator, this mm -hmm. shape is called a pillbox. This is an, fem, an imitation um, cinema, but it's just as pretty. Mm -hmm. And I like the height. That a pillbox will give you. That is what this one is made of. Is okay. a, it's, a, it's also a pillbox style. Okay. There are round ones, teardrop shape. Here we need to show and them. Saucers. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is a very unique. Is, is, shape. That's a new one this year, and is I just that? love it. And so. Um, oh, so you have some samples here that yes, we can see. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. With that one, I put. Yeah. Lilies. Oh, yes. Isn't that pretty? That is beautiful. That oh, is Millie's. beautiful. So you just need to decide on your base, and then that would be glued on top of the headband. Okay, and this base is a round, a round base that I have on? No, that has no, no base on it at oh, all. Oh, wow, okay. It, it's done like this, but if you want bases, we do have those. Okay, the, the that's base, what you have on yourself there. Yes, Okay. and the base will give you additional height. So it just kind of depends on what you're putting on and what you want, yeah. you know, the look that you want. Okay. Sometimes the base is very important and you're not, you're putting a minimal amount of things on it, so you want a nice shape for the base. And I think right. this hat is indicative it is. of that. It is. That is beautiful. And those are peacock feathers? Yes. Okay. Let me show you what you can do with some of the feathers. Okay. And these are also available at the Artist Barrel. This feather is a peacock sword. Oh. Okay. So that's this one. That is this one. Okay. These uh, are on the edges of a peacock's spread of All right. feathers. Now, here's what they're going to look like when you buy them. Mm -hmm. And this is what you can wind up with oh my goodness. when you work with it a little bit. Okay. It's very easy to do. You just strip the inside feathers uh -huh. off. Okay. Okay. I was so excited when I found out how to do this. Yes. <laughs> like, well, they're the whole beautiful. The world opened up to me. They're, I mean, they're such a beautiful feather anyway. And, you know, it's just incredible. And that then they... you know how you um, curl feathers or right? curl ribbon when you're yeah, decorating yeah. a package? Okay. It's the same way. Oh, my goodness. Look at that, how yes. easily that was. Yes. Isn't it pretty? Yes. Okay, so there you go. All right, so we could just add that to these. Mm -hmm. Okay, and yes. you would do the same thing then with this one? Mm -hmm. Okay, not, not that you have to do them all that way. You might not want them all the same. Um, but that just is a beautiful feather. Yes. She has some and, gorgeous peacock feathers And then when, you, when you buy here. the peacock feathers, you don't have to see these ends are kind of loose and you, mm -hmm. may, not like, you may not like the way that looks. Okay. You can pull them all off and neaten it up. Uh-huh. Or you can... Go like this and curl all of these. If you're okay. putting numerous ones together, that curly effect is really very pretty. Okay. And, and that's just done with the scissors. And that's just done with the scissors or okay. a dull 
kitchen knife, uh -huh. the edge of the scissors. Yeah. Okay. And then usually when I'm using those, I'll have both the eyes and the swords together. That but, is just beautiful but together. But you can see how much prettier that. it looks than if you just use it. It does. Well, you just kind of jazzed it up a little bit. Yes. You did. I have a granddaughter that when she comes, we uh -huh. like to bake together, and she always says, Grandma, you got to kick it up a notch. <laughs> so this year I applied that to my fascinators, and after I got it done, I uh -huh. thought, Hmm, now what do I do to just kick it up a notch? <laughs> well, so that's you know, that's, that's what we learn. Uh, I know a lot of um, kids at the school are always teaching me things, and probably one of the biggest things they do is that uh, they have different ideas, obviously, on, you know, how heavy they want it, how big they want it. Mm -hmm. uh, like you said, some of the people look like they're kind of teetering because the hat is so large. Yes. So you really have to be careful and maybe, you know, look at the outfit that you're going to wear and then customize that hat to absolutely. it. Absolutely, yes, absolutely. Okay. But feathers are just, they are so much fun to work with. And what else is something that we could do with okay. the feather? That we, okay. Uh, I love the these. Here. Those are called cocu feathers and they're actually stripped. They're, they are a feather, like, I think it's a turkey feather, like this would be, and uh -huh. you would you would strip. So I buy them already done like this. Okay. But I could. I've also made them, and I would take a feather like this uh -huh. and strip the feathers oh, off of it. Okay. Like like uh, this one has been done like that. See, so yeah, if I pulled all these off, mm -hmm. I would have the same effect as that. Oh, okay, I see. And then these edges are curled, and that is done the same way as. Um, the peacock. Okay. Uh, so there's just a lot like of this. things you can do with the feathers. Yes. And sometimes when you get the feathers, they won't all be perfect. Uh -huh. And I hate to waste anything. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll take a feather like this, and maybe it had a little flaw here where you could maybe see through it or something. Mm -hmm. You pull that off, and now you have a really unique feather mm -hmm. that's going to look great on someone's fascinator. Sure. Now this one, these little... That's very unique. Is, isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. I brought a big feather to show you sure. how to do that. It's Believe me, it's easy. Okay. Alrighty. We'll just clip into the center. Now, can you kind of show that up like this? Oh, sure. Only because if, if folks are going to try this... And have you done some classes or something that someone may be able to attend? Or no, no, I have been at the no. Artist Barrel and I will help people with things. Okay. Uh, it's something I've thought about. I just... Just one more thing. Yes. Uh, <laughs> right now I'm a one-man band. Yeah. So uh, it's harder. So just cut straight in okay. all the way. And then you go like this. Oh my goodness. Isn't that Look wonderful? At that. That, is, that is very unique. So that's how this was done. It was just done with a smaller feather. Mm hmm Okay. So but you could do that to anything. Yes. And then All this right. one I thought too is just beautiful and it's got a little of our Well, that started out like um like this feather, like okay. the ones that are in it started out like the ones that are in your hat because okay. they aren't curled too much. But I curled that with the um, with the side of the with the scissors, mm -hmm. and then I went back and curled the pieces. But just made a unique feather. That is, that is beautiful. These feathers are called biots, and a bird has to have this feather uh -huh. to fly. Oh, okay. Okay. They come in all different colors and they're so cute. They are pretty. They're, um, do I have any? Oh, Here's orange. orange. Yes. I guess I can lay these aside here. Yeah. Um, so you've got a little bit of everything here so for us today. These biots are kind of neat. I watch this first one will probably break for me. <laughs> but you can you can curl these. Okay. Like. Um, like other feathers, and they were, they're really very, very good. Oh pretty. my gosh, they're so dainty. Mm -hmm. And then and this then, one, that's, that's we'll try this, Okay. and you just tie it in a loop at the end of the feather, uh -huh. and then you put that in. 
Oh, a Isn't very that unique. Pretty? A very unique and one. They look really um, festive on a hat. I'm not sure if I have one here yeah. that's made that way. But Maybe right there is that. On this one, mm -hmm. the cochia feathers yeah. are not tied, they're just curled. They're just curled, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, now how do you decide when you're done? I, I know a lot of pieces that I pick up, it looks like they just have, they just went overboard, they had too much or too little. Mm -hmm. And so how do you decide, like with this piece right here, it looks absolutely perfect oh, okay. to me. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to need to try this one on okay. because uh, I think the, the more that you see, the more that you can appreciate just how unique these pieces are. Well, you put this on to make it comfortable for you. Most of the ones I do, unless someone asks me in a special order, yeah. are going to be for the right side of the head. Okay. 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 Well, I think a lot of people part on the right side of the head, mm -hmm. so it just kind of naturally goes goes yeah. in that spot, too. So. Okay. Here was one little thing we found out earlier today. Okay. This is a morning glory fascinator, cute little fascinator. If you're going to a party or something, uh -huh. it might be just perfect. It has these little grapevine... Uh, twigs, I guess we uh -huh. call it in there. Right. But this one got tangled in my watch, so I'm going to pull it out straight and show you okay. how I um, how I got it into the curl that it's in now. Just okay. wrap it around a pencil or something like that. Okay. Okay. We'll squeeze it together. Pull it off of here. Uh huh. Go. Isn't that right darling. back to where we need? Well, she makes it look easy, but truly, <laughs> uh, putting a unique piece together like this, I think, is is definitely an art, and and you have taken taken your time. And uh, now, does your daughter still work with you? Still, but not as much, maybe. Well, we sell Little Row clothing, and she has oh, okay. five children, so, so she's a busy girl. She's busy. <laughs> okay, she's a busy girl. We help each other as much as we can, but yeah. especially this time of the year, I am super busy. I bet. Um, I bet you are. This, these feathers mm -hmm. are called quills, oh. and they are, have been stripped of all the feathers that were on them, and um, they, they come, when I buy them, they come in colors, and sometimes the color I want isn't available, so I just paint it and make it the color I want. The neat thing about these are that you can um, curl them with a curling iron. Oh my goodness! So I never would have thought of that. That is why this one uh -huh. is curled like that. Okay. So they work very much like human hair. What you can do with your hair, you can pretty do much those. plan on being able to do that same thing with a feather. So. And how did like you choose shape. what to go on this piece? How, how did you make those choices? Well, you, you said you had everything there that you could make a, a fascinator from. <laughs> So, well, I had several. I, I wanted to do some more with the lilies because, yes. of course, the lilies are so popular for, for Oaks Day. And um, I had this base that is a it's not cinnamon, but it's a faux cinnamon. And mm -hmm. I had pink cinnamon fabric. So I thought, well, I, I think it's nice to put the cinnamons oh, together. It's beautiful. So I, I, I just put them together. And then, of course, I thought about my granddaughter saying, kick it up a notch, grandma. <laughs> And so I put put the the uh -huh. curled the quill and and put that on it also. Okay, so that piece is done. You don't want yes. to to add any little oh, more that doesn't feathers. Mean, that, that doesn't mean <laughs> we, that someone might come in and say, "Oh, I want this, but I need such and such a color on it," or something oh, like okay. that. Okay, so you can customize it yes. more more so. Um, okay. This week I met a young lady in the shop from uh, in the artist barrel from. Um, uh, Massachusetts and oh. she was going home but she was having a derby party at home in her at home in Massachusetts so she has a yellow dress and she told me what color she wanted I don't have I didn't have any yellow bases but I I made what I I'm like um, special orders for people but I never normally have them send me their a picture of their dress Okay. And tell me what colors they want and so what you can style kind of tie they want. So you can tie yes. it in with that. So she wants something a little sophisticated. This, these may be too f fun for her taste. Oh, I think that's but, perfect. That is just beautiful. But this will be one that I will send her a picture of. But uh, like I said, we do take special yeah. orders. If you show me your dress and I'll make the colors. I'll make two or three for you to choose from. And if you don't like them, 
That's okay. Somebody else will like yes. them and they'll buy them, so there's no obligation. Okay. So I did that one for her to okay. show her, and this one Now also. this looks, I have actually heard of brides doing like a fascinator, mm -hmm. and, because that's something that they can easily wear and maybe have the veil down from it, and then once the veil comes off, they, they still, still have... Uh, a little something well, there. Karen at the Artist Bureau, she's wonderful to work with, and she she told me, she said, you should be making some white ones. And I thought, oh, I don't know if they'll sell or not. But I've sold almost every one that I made this <gasps> oh, year. So well, because it goes it with so many things. Yes. So many things. So after I put this one together, then I added the colors that she wanted to go with her dress. Now tell me everything that's, you've got a base here. Now did you cover that with lace? No, or can you, you it, this can one get a base came with lace. With lace. And then what ribbon is? This, that is cinnamon. And okay. I have some here. Okay. Show us what that it might comes, look like. It comes by the yard, and I didn't mm -hmm. plan on doing anything with this today. No, we don't have to. It's no. com it's more complicated. Okay. But if you want to make um, pieces like this, mm -hmm. you cut out um, strips on the bias. Okay. The, the cinnamon has to be wet and rolled or folded and ironed, and that makes these little pieces here. Oh my. Um, I didn't. One of the fascinators I just sold had great big leaves like this on it out of uh -huh. cinema. So you created that one yourself? Yes. Then you can do, okay. I, I created that out of the fabric. Mm -hmm. And these are just little leaves that would be maybe tucked in mm -hmm. onto a, another one. I like that color too, that little uh, kind of almost a wheat, an off-white off a yes. little bit. You know, those are a little bit different mm -hmm. colors than the the basic white. You might not go with everything, but kind of nice to have it be a little, like that. Uh, Do you want to put that away, honey? I'd say I like a winter away. white, but okay. um, this is this is fun to work with, yeah. but it's not the easiest. So if you're going to buy a hat that has this work done on it, you're you're going to pay more for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, now tell me again. That is cinnamon is mm -hmm. the product, and is that hat made from that as well? This is, yes, this hat's made from cinnamon. Now this is a hat that I purchased to resell. Okay. But I added all the black feathers to it. And I know so, a lot of, of ladies at home do that, or maybe to, maybe they've worn this one year and they want to just enhance it or yes. jazz it up or, yes. or like your daughter said, take it up a notch and, yes. and do some things to it. So kind of maybe walk us through what you did with this piece. Well, this piece, when it came, it was turquoise and ivory, but these are the um, cookie feathers like we have here. Okay. And these are biot feathers. I just curled them a little and mm -hmm. tucked them down inside. Now it came with white, so you can see there's so, some yeah. white biots there. Yeah, I like that. But just, I like these really well because they give a lightness, airiness. They do. To the, they do. Well, like the one that you're wearing. It just sort of flows and just it's it beautiful, I, I think. It is, and that's a, that is a beautiful hat. Too. Now, I started to show you about these cookie feathers yes. earlier. I'm sorry, you have to go slower. What were those called again? C-O-Q-U-E, cookie. Okay, cookie. Okay. Uh, but you can take these. Kind of like they did with this, with this one yes. and kind of just made it up. You know, I wondered how they did that to make them just kind of go wild out here. And uh, I was just going to look. This may be one of your pieces. I'm not sure. But um, I know I got it downtown somewhere. And uh, But what I ended up doing is not this hat, but I had another hat that um, I don't want to say was boring, but wasn't jazzy enough for me. So and so something. I just took this and just clipped this on the side. Now, I won't be able to get it on today, but... Um, and you just put it on the ribbon on the side, and it just jazzes it all up for, for something that sure, you're, if absolutely. you are going to a derby party uh -huh. or something you want to, but then when you don't want it on there any longer, you just unclip it, and then I have the fascinator as well. <laughs> so I thought that was that was fascinating to me, well, I, I that I was found. able to, to pull that off. <laughs> so I found that people aren't buying these just for the derby. It's... It's for Thurby, it's for the Oaks, it's for their party. It it's is, for it their, is. Their campsite or, you know, lots of right. different. Right. Uh, well, and truly what you said, the, the 
lady from Massachusetts that told you she was having a party. Uh, uh, someone that is from here that you might remember, Jenny Roby, moved to North Carolina and has a derby party every year. <laughs> she lived in Hawaii for a while. Her mm -hmm. husband is in the service. They had a derby party every year. She said everywhere she goes, there's no, no excuse not to have a derby party. <laughs> uh, just because it happens to be in Kentucky and we are mm -hmm. so blessed to have it close to home doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. It's, yes. it's a lot of fun. Obviously, it's televised. Uh, a lot of people will put the big screens outside or you know somewhere where mm -hmm. everyone can watch. So how fun it is to have a hat to, to go along with that. So I just, uh, just really appreciate all the different unique pieces that you have. So if someone's at home and they want to do something like this, they can just stop in and get one yes. from, from the store. <laughs> and uh, again, you are at the Artist Barrel mm -hmm. in downtown Bardstown, or you are also uh, in Springfield at Nancy's yes. Boutique. Mm -hmm. 